Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Maybe I need escape modes. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kath? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure.
I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the first to get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real-life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. If you find yourself drifting, use your thrusters to correct, and quickly double-check the latch of your left nozzle controller, and when... I've double-checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double-checked. Claire, I've got this. <sighs> All right. Take rest out of the airlock. Whoa. Yeah. So what's all this from, anyway? Satellites, mission-related debris, even pieces from Sarah's old station. Pearson Space Station. From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission. There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to be cut away if we want the thruster to be even semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch, just press it and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it... Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. sunken space station in the bay behind our house. Yes. Why? I was just thinking about it earlier. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well... Never mind. So, anybody you... fancy back home? Wait, what? Ship. What? Ryan? Or, or Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. At least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings for someone despite the circumstances. I don't know, with everything that's going on with the world, we never really talk about this kind of stuff. Do you ever think about something like love? Do you? Good point. I'll be shutting up now.
It's done. Okay, good job. Turn the power back on, and I'll run a diagnostic. On it. Back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cal. Head back inside. And carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs>
same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster could send us completely off course. I'll suit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please, be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Copy. Sis, I don't think we can salvage this thruster. It's taking severe damage. Diagnostics say the same. You'll have to cut it away. Are you sure? In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Copy. Turn the power off before you do. <laughs> Claire, I can't turn the power off from here. Okay. You need to cut the power cable connected to the thruster. You can't miss it. I'm through. Power is off. Right, now the tricky part. You need to cut the thruster from the ship. Slow and steady. Copy.
The forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago at least. That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. And it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. Are you okay? I just... I haven't been here in a while, that's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to spend some time together before you have to leave. Girls, we're almost there. Let's keep walking. Come on. Let's go. finish the story right yeah um where was i ah right okay so so her mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night what's a frat party uh well it, it, it's like a birthday party but instead of presents people just um drink a lot that sounds stupid it was i never liked going to those either uh, but i'm glad i did go to this one your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea and, well, um, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flailing about like a lunatic. Then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg. Then there was blood everywhere and then we had to go to the emergency room. Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you, then? I really have no idea, darling. Whoa. Cool, right? Who made this? Dad. Glad this is all still here. Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why didn't I get to go? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. OK, Moonbear, come and get your gear. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> oh, uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things at left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah? Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. Just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that, on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing and we needed to climb our way out, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? They're completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right, so, final tally. Go or no go? Go. Just slam in each pickaxe as hard as you can, one after the other. That's right, one and then the other one. I made it! Amazing, Moonbear! We're going to the moon! Excited? Yay! 
<laughs> okay. Carefully climb down now, okay, remember? You should know exactly how well how well built Fine. they are. I will rephrase. How do you justify the risks of taking Kathy to live on the moon versus her just staying here on Earth? You know what is happening to our planet. You've forgotten. You read the same WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You you know what happened. With us. Don't, don't you? Oh, come on, Claire. <sighs> I hate you for what you're doing. I hate you. <sighs> Let's put the gear away. Yep. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? She does. Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Big rest before your exam tomorrow. Watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, Seth. <laughs> I just. I just brought that for comfort. I, what do you expect to find on Mars, Cat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe I've always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's but... all that matters, right? He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far, I'm doing just that. Right? I 
I close the shutters for dramatic effect, because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. Okay. You just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Labos. Would you look at that? seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. All right, Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint 0 to 2 are calculated and defined. Waypoint 2 assigned to auto-lock abort function. Final go, no go, pilot waypoint 2. All right, Kathy, take us in. Capture now also complete. Docking confirmed. Looks like a smooth dock. Great job, Kathy. Thanks. Ryan, Sarah, you have permission to enter the ship. Permission was assumed. We're already crossing as we speak. Copy. I'll reprimand you later for insubordination. I shall accept my sentence with dignity. Sis, I can join them to investigate. We only need one person. That's not necessary. It's not necessary for me to stay here either. Kathy. Please respect my command. You're my sister. I am your commander. Claire, I think we could use another set of eyes over here. The interior is huge and built like a maze. We could be here a while. Copy, Sarah. Kathy's heading over now. Copy that. Hey, beautiful. Hey. 
Is it this quiet everywhere inside the ship? From what I've seen so far, yeah. This reeks of intent rather than accident. Make a note of this. I've seen so many cryopods in one place before. A hologram? Here? How are you even finding this data? Are you keeping secrets from me, Ayla? Well, let's take a look. Sorry, Miss Laverde, but Director McCarthy was clear. Our warriors, welcome to a new dawn. We stand on the edge of greatness. We are the culmination of thousands of years of technological progress. Earth is a lost cause. There's no coming back from the damage we inflicted upon her. But now, we have a chance to correct humanity's course. A future without conflict, without division, uncorrupted by weakness or doubt. We have the tools, the minds, and the bodies to create a sustainable utopia. A place for you, your future children and grandchildren. With my five-year plan, we will build a solid foundation for our good together. What about Ark Vida? Don't we need all three arcs for this to work? <laughs> the loss of Ark Vita is one we can overcome if we remain strong and work hard to compensate. But for this to succeed, we must be unified. If we do not work together, we will fail. If we challenge and fight one another, we will fail. In this monumental endeavor, we are only as strong as our weakest link. So, people of Outward, we stand on the precipice. Join me, and together we will build something better. Gather your belongings and prepare to transfer to Ark Habitas for our descent to Mars. We leave in two hours. Was that stunt truly necessary? What were you hoping to achieve by diverting the ship? Rosa, I don't want to force you to cooperate, but- Tell that to the fine men you've got escorting me. I'm sorry it came to this, but we need you. Outward needs you. Your medical expertise is crucial to the colony. Everyone's lives depend on it. I will do my best. Thank you. 
you. I'm not doing it for you, William. Rosa and the others. Ayla, if they made it to the surface, they could be with Dad right now. Ayla, I'll log these to my Astro tool myself. So go ahead and strike them from your backups, okay? We'll let the others know later. After we find Dad. Noted. The best solar panels we've produced in the past 20 years can't even reach 40. Sarah, can you find any data on the network? We can take that with us as proof. On it. If it's true what Ryan found, this is the most advanced energy converter known to humankind. So why isn't it functional? Well, that's the weird part. It is functional. It just seems they... turn it off. <laughs> Strange. The door to the bridge is locked, but I think I can open it with a stream point. Copy that. Keep us posted.
Claire, I'm in the bridge and the entire room is filled with pieces of debris. You sound almost happy. Well, to be honest, the chaos looks very... pretty. Easy there, Edward. Can you determine what caused it? I'll look around. The emergency security doors have been activated here. That means the area behind that door had a hull breach. So is this ship deserted because the crew got sucked into space? Seems plausible. Perhaps it was an accident after all. Whatever happened behind those closed doors is the answer. An answer we can't get to. No. Afraid not. What's the status of the bridge's main terminal? Looks like I need to fix the MPT converters before I can turn the arc's power back on. Output metrics show the same. The MPT dishes are receiving any of the energy from the batteries. This ship's operating system is really locked tight, but I think this should open up a door behind you, right? Now, Kathy, finding a way to restore the arc's power is top priority. I'm on it. The breach really did a number on this place, too.
Thanks. I did it. Copy. Diagnostics? All within safety margins over here. Looks good over here, too. Great job, Kat. Thanks, Sarah. All right. Kat, head over to the bridge and access the terminal. For team, Arc Labos is fully functional. Congratulations, team. One arc down, two to go. Let's check the MPT, Ola. Claire? 
there? The MPT is fully operational again. I'm going to re-establish the connection to the surf. No! What? No, Kathy. We don't know what we'll find down there. You start the MPT connection, you'll be broadcasting our presence to anyone on the surface. Think before you act. Roger that. Right. Operative, head back to ZA-3. We'll head planet side and find the other arc. Guidance design has been re-optimized. Preparing for EDL. T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 I'm sorry for being so protective. I know I'm not mum. What, what I mean is, I see how much you've grown. I know I can trust you. Commander. Moment of truth, Opera Team. If the deorbit burn doesn't function, we all know what to do. Starting burn. We are losing three axis stabilization. Nominal velocity changes, propulsive efficiency completely tanked. Unable to correct. What about tertiary thrusters? Gone. Momentum desaturation has failed. Mass explosion won't help. We are in loss of control. Understood. Opera team, abandon ship. Brian, Sarah, to cargo in the pods. Kathy and I will try one last maneuver. Kat, do you copy? Kat, copy. You can do this. Escape 